Hello, this is Teacher Malu and welcome back again to Math Habit. Okay, so in this video, pag-aaralan natin ang quadratic equation. Okay, so let's start with definition of terms. Okay, a quadratic is a polynomial whose highest exponent is 2. Okay, so ito daw yung polynomial, pagka ang highest degree niya ay 2, tinatawag natin siya na quadratic equations. So yung solution daw sa ating quadratic equations o yung sagot sa ating quadratic equation ay tinatawag natin na roots. And yung standard form ng quadratic equation is this. Okay, ito ang standard form ng quadratic equation. We have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Yung ating x squared term will be our first term lagi. At yung ating x term will be uh, our second term. And yung c is equal to yung ating third, last term or third term. And para maging matawag natin siya na nasa standard form na siya, it is very uh, important na naka-equate siya sa 0 or naka-equal siya sa 0. So, yan yung standard form ng ating quadratic equation. So, kung mapapansin nyo, we have here A, B, and C. So, anong ibig sabihin ng A, B, and C? So, yung itong ating A, it is the coefficient of the squared term, ang ating B. Yun yung coefficient ng ating x term at yung ating C, yun yung ating constant. Okay, so... Before tayo mag-solve ng quadratic equation, it is very important na naka-standard form yung ating polynomials o naka-rearrange siya or written siya as in this kind of uh, form. Naka, nauuna lagi yung uh, x squared term, kasunod yung x term at yung last term is yung constant. And uh, uh, most importantly, naka-equate dapat siya sa zero. Okay, so... Uh, bago tayo mag-start, pag-aralan muna natin kung paano tayo mag -re ng quadratic equation at pag-aralan muna natin kung paano uh, pag-aralan natin ang pag-identify ng mga values ng A, B at ng C. Okay, so let's practice. Okay, let's rearrange quadratic equation and identify the real numbers A, B, and C. Okay, so we have here examples. So our original equation in number 1 is 8x squared minus 3x plus 1. So kung mapapansin nyo, uh, naka-standard form na siya kaya wala ng uh, steps needed na kailangan para maging standard form siya. So ang gagawin na lang natin in example number 1 is to identify the real numbers A, B, and C. Okay, so in A, we have 8. Our the value of B is negative 3 and C is equal to positive 1. Okay. And then number 2, we have 2x squared plus 5 is equal to 3x. Okay. So, hindi pa uh, naka-standard form. So, ano yung steps na kailangan natin para maging standard form siya? We have to subtract 3x from both sides. Okay. So, ito na siya ngayon. 2x squared plus 5 minus 3x is equal to 3x minus 3x. Okay. So, 3x minus 3x is equal to 0. Kaya, naka-equate na siya ngayon sa, sa 0. And then, i rearrange natin yung ating mga terms sa left side. So, kailangan mauuna yung uh, x squared term and then second term yung x term and then yung last term dapat is yung ating constant. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating standard form. We have 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. Okay, so identifying the values of ABC, ang ating A is equal to 2, ang B natin is negative 3, and ang ating constant is Okay, now let's have example number 3. We have here x squared plus x is equal to 4. Okay, para maging standard form siya, ano yung steps na needed? We have to subtract 4 to both sides. We, we now have x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 4 minus 4. Okay, so ito na yung standard form niya ngayon. We have x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. So kung walang indicated value or coefficient sa tabi ng x squared at yung x term, so automatic ang value nun is one. So, ang, ang value ng A natin is equal to 1. Ang value ng B natin is equal to B. Ay, ang value ng B natin is equal to 1, rather. And yung C natin is negative 4. Okay, let's have uh, another example. Let's have example number 4. We have here 7x squared is equal to 1 third x. So, anong steps needed para uh, makuha natin yung standard form niya? We have to subtract 1 third x from both sides. So, ito na siya ngayon. We have 7x squared minus 1 third x is equal to 0. And now, let's identify the value of A, B, and C. The value of A is equal to 7. Our B is negative 1 third and C is 0 since wala tayong constant dun sa equation. And then, our number 5 is 2x squared is equal to 9. So, paano natin siya gagawing standard form? We have to subtract 9 from both sides. 
So, ito na siya ngayon. 2x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So, in this equation naman, ang wala natin is yung b. So, ang ating a is equal to 2, b is equal to 0, and our c is negative 9. Okay, na let's uh, have example number 6. We have 3, open parenthesis, x squared minus 2x plus 7, close parenthesis is equal to 0. So, anong gagawin natin para magawa natin o maririte siya sa standard form. Okay, we have to distribute the 3, yung outside na number, sa bawat term na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay, so we have 2, multiply 3 sa x square, and then 3 sa 2x, and then 3 sa 7. So, our standard form now is 3x square minus 6x plus 21 is equal to 0. And to identify the value of a, b, and c, we have a is equal to 3, b is negative 6, and our constant or c is equal to 21. Okay, so I hope natuto kong paano mag-rearrange ng quadratic equation and uh, mag-identify ng values ng a, b, at c. Okay. There are lots of ways na ma-solve natin yung quadratic equation. But in this video, uh, mag-focus tayo muna sa solving quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Okay, so here's our quadratic formula. We have x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, so you have to memorize this one dahil gagamitin natin ito sa uh, mga succeeding na uh, problem natin in solving our problem. Okay, so we have steps na gagamitin para ma-solve natin yung mga quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Okay, we have here. Okay. Step 1, make sure the quadratic equation is in standard form. Rearrange if necessary. Step 2, identify the values of A, B, and C. Pay close attention to positive and negative signs. Kasi mostly, uh, you uh, yun yung nagiging uh, error ng mga students. Uh, tama yung value, kaya lang nawawala yung positive or negative sign ng uh, coefficient. And then the step 3, substitute the value of A, B, and C into the formula. Step 4, simplify. Step 5, split into two answers, one with positive sign and one with negative sign. And finally, we have to divide kung possible. If not, kung walang, uh, kung hindi perfect square uh, yung ating value, leave natin siya as is. Okay, so para mas maintindihan natin, let's have example number 1. Okay, so we have here x square minus 15 is equal to 2x. Okay, as you can see, hindi pa siya naka-sulat uh, in standard form. So, what we're going to do first is, uh, we need to rewrite this equation in standard form. So, how are we going to do that? Okay, subtract both sides by 2x. So, we have here now, x squared minus 15 minus 2x is equal to 2x minus 2x is equal to x squared minus 15 minus 2x is equal to 0. Okay, so as you can see, hindi pa nakaayos yung mga terms natin. So ayusin natin. Kailangan yung first term natin, yung squared term. And then yung second term natin is yung x term. And then yung last term natin is yung constant. And then it is equal to 0. Yun. So this is our standard form now. We have x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Okay, let's proceed to step 2. Let's identify now the values of a, b, and c. Okay. So, our A is 1, B is negative 2, and our C is negative 15. And since may value na tayo ng A, B, and C, so substitute na natin yung uh, values ng A, B, and C sa formula, sa ating quadratic formula. So, we have here now, ang value, uh, ito na siya ngayon, X is equal to um, negative times negative 2 plus or minus square root of, of negative 2 square minus 4 times 1 times negative 15 divided by 2. Okay. And then, we have to simplify. So, mal madali lang yung denominator kasi 2 times 1 is equal to 2 lang. And then, yung unahin natin, uh, yung part under the square root. So, we have negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 squared is equal to positive 4 kasi a negative times a negative is positive. And then we have 4 times 1 times negative 15 is negative 60. Okay, simplify pa rin natin yung uh, 
part under the square root. So we have 4 minus negative 60 uh, using KCC rule in subtra uh, subtraction, subtracting integers, we have 4 plus 60. And then yung 2 natin pala, na, uh, yung nasa unahang 2 is naging positive 2 na siya because negative times negative is equal to positive. Kaya naging uh, positive 2 na siya. And then let's continue to simplify uh, what's under the square root. So we have yung 4 plus 60 natin magiging 64 na. So ito na siya ngayon. We have x is equal to is x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 64 divided by 2. And since ang square root natin ng 64 is equal to 8, so gawin na natin siyang 8. Okay. So ang equation na natin ngayon, x is equal to 2 plus or minus 8 divided by 2. Okay. Now we need to split this up into two separate answer because this symbol, okay, yung plus or minus symbol, yan, ibig sabihin nun is plus or minus. This means we need to split it up and write one answer with a sign, with a plus sign, and the other one with minus sign. Okay, so x is equal to 2 plus 8 divided by 2, and the other one is x is equal to 2 minus 8 divided by 2. And then proceed to our step 6, which is divide. Okay, so we have, unahin natin yung uh, plus. Uh, I-plus muna natin 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 and then divided by 2. Therefore, ang x natin is 5. And then, the other one, yung, isolve naman natin yung minus sign. We have 2 minus 8 over 2. We have 6 divided by, negative 6 divided by 2. And the negative 6 divided by 2 is equal to negative 3. Okay, therefore, ang roots pala, or the solution ng x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0 are 5 and negative 3. Okay, so let's, ha uh, let's have example number 2. Meron tayong quadratic equation here na 3x squared plus 5x plus 10 is equal to 9. Okay, so as you can see, hindi pa siya nakasulat in standard form. So let's uh, follow the steps in uh, solving quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Step 1, we need to rewrite this equation in standard form. So how? We have to subtract 9 from both sides. We have 3x squared plus 5x plus 10 minus 9 is equal to 9 minus 9. So we have now 3x squared plus 5x. So 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 and 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. So it is in a standard form already. So let's proceed to step 2. Let's find the values of a, b, and c. Our a now is positive 3 and our b is 5 and c is equal to 1. And since may values na tayo ng a, b, and c, i-plug na natin yung mga values sa ating formula, sa ating quadratic formula. Ayan na siya. Okay, so we have here now x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 times 3 times 1 divided by 2 times 3. Okay, next we have to simplify. Okay, so again, yung denominator is 2 times 3 and then we have to uh, work muna yung uh, mga items under the square root. So we have 5 times 5 is equal to 25 and then 4 times 3 times 1 is equal to 12. So we have 25 minus 12. Okay, so we uh, simplifying it, we have negative 5 plus or minus square root of 13 divided by 6. Okay. So, from the previous example, we have 64. Meron siyang perfect, uh, perfect square siya. Ang square root niya is 8. So, in this problem, walang uh, square root yung, walang exact na, uh, walang square root yung 13. So, that's why uh, we have to, we can simplify the square root of 13. So, this means we can leave the answer just like this. Okay. So, I split into two answers lang natin siya, one with plus sign and one with minus sign. So, x is equal to negative 5 plus square root of 13 divided by 6. And the other one is negative 5 minus square root of 13 divided by 6. Kasi nga, walang uh, square root yung 13. But if you want an ex, uh, if uh, required yung exact answers, uh, so we have to divide it. So, ang ating square root of 13, uh, kung i I compute natin siya into our calculator. It's uh, about 3.61. So, magagamit natin siya para 
magkuha natin yung rounded answer ng ating roots or ating solution. So, kapag ginamit natin yung 3.61 as the value of our square root of 13, so ang x natin ngayon is magiging negative 0.23, and the other one, ang x natin is negative 1.43. Okay, so that's all. So, I hope uh, natutunan yung mga basic concept in quadratic equations, how to find the uh, the values of ABC and how to rearrange the quadratic equation to its standard ter standard form and uh, solving quadratic equation using our quadratic formula. Okay, thank you for listening and thank you for uh, watching. I hope you learn and see you again next time.